Whether you pay your bills online or by paper check, when you get notified of a data breach, what you do next is key. KPLC's Amasirabo spoke with an expert on the steps you can take. Chief Technology Officer Brett Durbin says, in this day and age, you have to be suspicious of everything that comes through, no matter its form of delivery. Don't click on anything. Don't assume that it's legitimate. Like I said, always treat any email that comes through as potentially bogus. You may remember a data breach involving tax payments in Calcasieu Parish earlier this year. Turns out some taxpayers are still getting notifications about it. You should always go directly to either the bank, the credit company, whoever it may be. Go directly to their website, log in. If something has happened to your account, there will generally be a warning up on the screen that they've had to reset some credentials or they've noticed suspicious activity, something like that. Next, Darren says, don't call any numbers associated with the notification. Do your research, find the correct contact, and reach out. This is crucial because if it is confirmed the company is at fault, they are required to do the following. They are required to pay for the service to monitor your credit account for, you know, X number of months going forward. So that's generally something that'll happen if, if one of your accounts does get compromised because of a, a large systematic failure. Darren says the goal of hackers is to verify any information they can have on you to further exploit in the future. Hackers are often smart and leave their victims playing catch up. Organized crime isn't so much anymore getting shaken down by the mafia. It's rooms full of people sitting on computers just finding different ways to access you know people's information. I'm a Cerebo, 7 News. And one simple thing Daring says can help is to not reuse the same password across multiple.